Have you ever wondered why in Europa Universalis 4 the start date is in 1444, and specifically on the date of the 11th of November 1444? I did too, and so today you're going to find out why this is the case. But first, if you love EU4 history content, please consider subscribing, like these folks. So Paradox have designed EU4 so that it fits into the late medieval period between 1300 and 1500. Therefore, Paradox needed to choose a starting date in this time period that is exciting to start in, which leaves only a few dates to choose from. We start by understanding why the 11th of November 1444 was chosen. The first reason for this date being chosen was because, on the 10th of November 1444, which is the day just before, a battle took place between the Ottomans and the Eastern European Crusaders, which was led by the King of Poland and Hungary. This battle occurred because a year before, in 1443, the Pope at the time called a crusade against the Ottoman Empire, who were becoming too strong in the Balkans. Things were looking bad for the Ottomans, with the Crusaders winning at the Battle of Nice that led to one of the best Ottoman commanders, Skanderbeg, starting a rebellion in Albania. And also, to further weaken the Ottomans, the Sultan Murad retired, leaving his son, Mehmet, to become Sultanate. It seems very likely that the Ottomans would be pushed out of the Balkans. However, his son Mehmed commanded his father to come out of retirement and return to fight against the Crusaders. Murad then led the Ottoman army to battle, and the two sides met just outside Varna. This battle would be known as the Battle of Varna, and would be a century-defining battle for the Balkans. During the battle, the Polish king, Ladislaus III, charged Murad with his troops, but was killed by the Janissaries, who were Murad's guards, and they beheaded the Polish king, leading to a crushing blow for the Crusaders. In the aftermath of this battle, the Ottomans had removed a significant opposition to their expansion in Central and Eastern Europe, and subsequent battles forced a large number of Europeans to become Ottoman subjects. The EU4 start date is therefore a significant moment for the rise of the Ottomans, and this reason makes the date interesting to begin the game at, with a large amount of interesting changes in Europe to come. However, is this really the most significant date in the whole of the late medieval period? The answer is no. Some other significant dates would be the Battle of Agincourt in 1415, which led to the union of France and England. Also, another significant date is 1453, with the fall of Constantinople and the end of a hundred year war between France and England. And finally, the last potential significant date is the fall of Granada in 1492, which led to Spanish dominance in that region. Even EU free start dates were in 1453 and 1399. So therefore, what is the second main reason for the start date being in 1444? Well, it's to do with one of the most significant empires in human history, known as the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire is well known to many people, since it had the best army in the world for a long time, and governed the whole of the Mediterranean. You can therefore understand why Paradox wanted the last remaining parts of the empire, Byzantium, to be in the game. There's a number of people who dream of restoring Rome to its former glory, and therefore, Keeping Byzantium in the game can potentially attract more sales for Paradox if people buy the game to play as Byzantium. But let me know if you think this is a good enough reason for 1444 to be the EU4 start date. And check out some of my other history videos.